Yo guys, it's Rip here again. This is an intro to an intro. I'm not gonna waste your time. We're gonna check the, the best six healers right now. Enjoy. Yo everyone, this is the number one, uh, the Prevastation uh, Evoker. So we're gonna get right into it. Uh, we have the healing output. Uh, as a uh, Prevastation Evoker, you have uh, extremely strong uh, single target healing when you need to. Uh, you have a lot of great uh, um, defensive CDs for your team. Uh, the same goes for uh, your uh, capability of doing a lot of AoE healing when you need to uh, in a short window of time. Uh, right now they are uh, easily the top S tier number one healer. There is out at the moment because of the output you can do um, the overall damage I mean it's the same uh, thing there I mean as a prevastation evoker you have almost all the same abilities as you have an, uh, as the DPS version of the evoker uh, that meaning that you are doing a lot uh, of both single target and a wee damage uh, I would even say that devastation evoker is almost doing more DPS than the the DPS version of the class. I mean, that is a bit fucked up if you ask me, but the devs mm, did it that way, and I mean, it is what it is. Uh, for the utility for the group, uh, you have a lot actually. You have a buff, uh, you have a roar, uh, like an AoE, sil AoE silence, kinda. Uh, you have interrupt, uh, you have CC. Uh, you also have uh, like a sort of uh, life grip, but uh, this is uh, a bit different, so to say. Um, but it is uh, kind of like a life grip. And for the second one, the A tier one, we're gonna talk about the Discipline Priest. Uh, I have spent a lot of time uh, in Shadowlands, both playing uh, Holy and Discipline Priest. Uh, both of the classes are insanely strong. Uh, on the discipline side, you have great output with the atonement healing and uh, the radiance, uh, as you had before. Um, you also have schism, uh, let's schism, uh, pendants, smite, and your dot uh, uh, that generates a uh, healing um, all the time. Uh, utility for the group, uh, I mean, you have stamina buff, you have shields. Uh, you have PI and PI is a really strong deal. I mean, you know how it is in uh, season three now with the Destro Warlocks and the PI. I mean, you don't play. There's a reason why you don't play a Shaman in high keys. PI is that uh, that important. Um, and just to mention a bit, uh, also you have really strong single target. Maybe not as the same capability as the the Prevastation Evoker one, uh, but you do have really strong single target. Uh, healing. Uh, as for the overall damage, I mean, it's not in the even in the same league as the Devastation, uh, uh, like the Prevastation, sorry, uh, Evoker, but it uh, it does decent uh, single target. I would say that it does more decent, uh, it does more single target damage than it does AoE. Uh, so, uh, I mean, it it is really strong, uh, but, uh, and for the second one in the the A tier list, we have the Mist Weaver Monk. Uh, I mean, Mist Weaver Monk has been dead the whole season 3 and season 4. I mean, it literally is the, the worst class possible to play. Uh, you don't have anything that uh, like you offer to the group. And I do really hope now in Dragonflight that they uh, change how the, the class is, uh, is gonna look. Um, so for the healing output, I mean, you do have kind of strong AoE. Uh, like AoE a capability healing, uh, it's not the same as uh, Discipline Priest, but it's still uh, fairly good actually, it's not bad. Uh, as for the single target one, I would say the single target uh, healing is a lot better uh, than the AoE healing side. Uh, don't get me wrong, the healing on the AoE side is really strong either way, but I think the single target healing is a lot stronger. Um, as for the utility side on the Mist Weaver Monk, I mean you have Ring, uh, you have uh, Leg Sweep, um, <coughs> you have a lot of, uh, you have also Paralyze, you also uh, give a 5% physical damage, 
uh, as a buff uh, when you hit a target. So you 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 bring some value to the to the group actually. But you cannot compare it to uh, the previous station. I mean, I will say it again. You you can't. It's not even in the same league. It's like uh, facing Arsenal when you uh, go to the Swedish football team. It's not gonna happen. Uh, as for the overall damage, I mean, it's meh. It's it's okay. I mean, it's not crazy, but uh, it's <laughs> it's working. I mean, you can do something at least. Uh, it's. Uh, it's decent enough, I would say. I mean, you can maybe get it work with uh, another spec or another build, uh, but yeah. Now for the B tier. We have the first one in the B tier list, and that is the Resto Druid. Uh, the Resto Druid, I mean, has always been a strong class. Uh, you have insane AoE healing capability when you need to. Uh, the same with single target one. Uh, I mean, both in Season 3 and Season 4. Resto Druid was fairly strong, uh, both on the single target damage wise. Uh, uh, maybe lacked a bit on the AoE damage wise, but uh, uh, they still uh, did a really good job, I would say. Uh, for the utility side of the, the class, uh, I mean, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, where I talked about the Feral Druid, uh, as a Restoration Druid, you have slows, uh, I mean, you have Cyclone also, I mean, you have, uh, it's not, how do I pronounce it, I mean, it's not the same as a, a Discipline Priest or a Holy Priest, uh, but you still have some utility that would help the group out, uh, but it's not uh, in the in the same uh, category as, uh, for example, the PI one, I mean, uh, Druid is still really strong and without preform. A lot of classes, at least in healer ones, because of the single target uh, damage you can uh, put out with uh, the Necrolord ability that you have now in the talent tree. Uh, and with uh, the increased uh, damage of your uh, cat and uh, I mean all your abilities from the Moonkin and the cat one. So you can put, uh, put out a lot of single target damage. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned before, uh, both the, the single target, I mean I would say that the AoE healing is a lot better for... Rest of Druid than the single target is, uh, but uh, I mean, they still do have really good uh, and consistent healing all the time. And uh, I mean, they will always be a good class uh, and an all around uh, nice one to play. And now for the second one, we have the Holy Priest, the God of the Season 3 and 4. Um, they are fairly strong in Season uh, or in Dragonflight, so to say, now too. But let's get right into it. Uh, the healing output on a single target is insanely strong. It's the same uh, capability you have in uh, in um, Shadowlands uh, with the Holy Serenity. Now you do. If you spec into it, you have two charges of uh, uh, Holy Serenity. Um, and you have still, like, for the talent side, it's still the same uh, talents. It's not uh, like they have uh, reworked the whole class. Uh, it it is kind of the same. Uh, before you played with a legendary in Shadowlands that increased this, uh, increase your uh, cast time on um, on heal every time. Like it stacks up to five when you do, do five flash heal in a row, uh, you get like twenty five percent reduced cast time on uh, on heal. It's the same here now, um, but it's a bit reworked, so to say. As for the utility for the group. I mean, they have great uh, utility, as I mentioned before, in the Discipline one. Uh, there's not more uh, to say, kind of. I mean, you have Guardian, uh, you have all the things that you need to help out the group. As for the overall damage, uh, AoE, not that great at all, I would say. Uh, I mean, it's lacking a bit. Um, I think even the Monk does more AoE. I'm not sure, though, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I am 110% sure that the Prevastation Evoker will do a lot more damage. Uh, on an AoE pack than a Holy Priest. But, nonetheless, on the single target one, uh, it actually does uh, quite decent, I would say. Um, with the new uh, spell that uh, gives you three Holy Shocks. Uh, yeah. And for the first one in the C tier list is the Holy Paladin. Oh shit. Holy Paladin was insanely strong in uh, Season 2 in uh, Shadowlands. I really do hope they... Uh, get that momentum now in uh, Shadow Lele in Dragonflight so they can uh, climb the ladder so to say. Uh, as for the healing output, 
I mean, you have insanely strong healing output, uh, both for the single target capability and the AOE capability. Uh, I mean, uh, both the single target one and the AOE one uh, is fairly si uh, like is fairly the same as it was in uh, the Shadow uh, Shadow Fly, uh, Shadow Lands, sorry, uh, with uh, the melee Paladin spec. You can play. You can play either the melee paladin spec right now, or you can play the caster paladin spec. You have two options, uh, but it's kind of the same uh, uh, as it was before. Uh, as for the utility side, I mean, you have great uh, utility. You have uh, one bop, you have sacrifice or sack uh, for your teammate that uh, is very great, very helpful. Uh, you have uh, freedom. Uh, and you have the 3% uh, damage reduce all uh, from your aura. Uh, as for the overall damage, I mean, uh, single target damage. We, if you play with the caster spec, it's not, uh, it's not the greatest. I mean, if you go with uh, the melee one, with uh, the melee wings, I mean, it's a lot better. Uh, it's same with um, with the AOE side. If you go with uh, with uh, the the single target or sorry the melee wings uh, you will do a lot more damage in um, both single target and aoe damage um, in this clip you see here now i played with the caster uh, spec so i don't do any damage at all uh, I, I mean it's still good i think the output healing you do on a, with the regular wings is uh, fairly strong either way and for the last one in the d tier list we have the do -do 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 the shaman I mean, I have played Shaman a, a bit actually in uh, Dragonflight uh, Alpha right now, and I mean, I that's the class I enjoy the most actually. It's the least played in uh, the Alpha right now, but I enjoy it a bunch. I think it's insanely fun with uh, uh, all the capability you have uh, with uh, the lasso, the lightning lasso. You have Nox, you, I mean, you have insane AoE, uh, single target also. Uh, but let's start here with the healing output. I mean, you have okay healing output, I would say. It's not the good, like it's not the best, but it uh, it works, kinda. I would say that uh, the AoE healing side is a lot better than the single target side on uh, the Shaman, y, uh, Shaman 1. <coughs> uh, like the utility for the group, I mean, as I mentioned also in the video uh, before, you have Root, you have Snare, you have Hex, and you also have a Range Kick, and that helps a lot in uh, some dungeons, actually. Um, and you also have Link. I mean, Link is an insanely strong CD, and it is not affected by Necrotic. Sheesh. Uh, as for the overall damage, I mean, it's okay. Uh, I mean, it's it's a lot more than a Paladin and a Monk, at least. Um, uh, and actually a priest, or a holy priest, so to say. Uh, it uh, does uh, really good AoE damage with the, the chain lightning. Um, a bit less on the single target one with the lightning bolt and your necro ability. But I mean, it's still up there, and I do believe that the shaman can maybe take a spot later on. Um, but I mean, you need to see, kind of, I mean, I hope uh, they do get a spot. That was it for me. I, I just want to mention this before the video ends here, that this is only my opinion. You don't need to think the same as me. Uh, you have your right to uh, your own opinion, and I am uh, gladly taking uh, like good feedback or response. Uh, if you have any better specs or uh, talents uh, or builds for these classes I have uh, shown right now, or if you have uh, another tier list you want to share, I mean, give it, uh, give it a link or... Give it a comment in the link below.